So creating labels in Keyshot, again, it, it, it seems a little intimidating, but it's relatively easy. Let's bring that kind of over here and we'll open up the material library. So I already have this thing set up. Um, I'll kind of reset it up for you. It seems a little intimidating. It seems like there's a lot going on here, but really not too much. Uh, we have our, our ceramic glaze and our, our paint attached to the surface. I've used a leather texture to create this kind of ceramic-like roughness on the, on the, the actual mug. Uh, so that's it. That's just driving the bump right there. And then I have a texture map, and I've used this texture map as the color on top of the actual label that I've made. And I've used that to drive my first bump, and I've added a secondary bump onto that label as well, which is what's creating this kind of, of, of hammered, uh, uh, rough texture on this foil label. And the reason why it looks foil is because my color that I'm using is actually a metal. So I'm going to kind of disconnect these. And let's, let's run through making a label real quick. So in that case, I use the Keyshot logo. And I'm just going to drag and drop that onto there. I'll select Add Label, and then I can let me clean this up real quick. So here's my, my label that I just added, and I want to scale that label down. I can do it outside of this, but not, since this is open, I'm just going to do it right here. So I'm going to scale this label down into something that's, that's usable, and then I'm going to actually move that label just so you know, it's kind of more centered. See if I can. So yeah, that'll that'll work for now. So I've moved my label. I've attached it as a label to my parent material, which is the ceramic glaze right here. And now I want to make it like a shiny foil. So I'll just go in here to my plastic. I'll change my material type to a metal. And then immediately you kind of have this metal shininess going on. I can adjust the roughness of that metal. I'll give it a little bit of roughness since foil is usually not just perfectly shiny. Um, and then I want this to also drive the bump so I can make it look like it's either debossed or embossed. So I've just taken another from that same output, I've dropped it onto my bump and that's how I've kind of got this effect. And then now I want to texture it with some kind of, you don't have to texture it. If your goal is to create something that looks like this, then you'd be done at this point. But if I want to texture it like I had before, again, just add a bump add node, go to utilities, bump add node. And now I can pull a texture of any kind that I'd like. Um, let's use a noise fractal this time. And I'll drop that onto my bump. And then there's a little bit going on here, but again, C to color preview. You can see the scale of that texture. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I'm going to drop some fall off and the bump height up. And then you hit C, and then that's, that's the end result right there. It's kind of this beat up foil label. So that's essentially how you'd create a label. Um, again, it, this one's just set as a metal because I was imagining like a foil texture over it. But you could really change it to, to uh, anything you'd like, plastic paint. Um, and then it'll adopt those, those properties and you can adjust them accordingly as well.